Hey guys, David here, and this video is brought to you by Hedaro.com. Today we're going to learn about how to identify missing values in your data frames and a few techniques on how to replace those missing values. So let us begin. Let's hop over to our notebook and let's start by importing pandas. Once we got pandas imported, let me share with you the version I'm using for those who are following along. All right, so let's make up some fake data for us. Let's go key value, oops, A, 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 B, C, C. Uh, we're just making up some fake data and we're making up some numbers to go along with it. All right, so let's go pd.read clipboard. So let us copy this data and this read clipboard function will read the data we created in Excel and put it into a data frame and there we go this is our data now we don't have missing values but let's go ahead and do that so how do we do that let's go df of dot log let's select the column val and let's select every other row from it so this line of code that I just wrote tells you let me pick every other so it's gonna select row zero then it's gonna skip one then it's gonna go to two then it's gonna skip three then it's going to go to four. That's what this did. And this tells you which column we're doing it on. So we just did it on one column, column value. Now, on this three rows, I'm going to make them all null. And to do that, we just got to go equals none. This is null for Python. And if you see what I just did, you'll notice that those three rows, one, two, and three, draw nulls. All right, now that we got a data frame, which is DF, that has a null values, how do you identify them using pandas? Pandas has this feature and we'll go DF, and let's pick the value column and we'll say SNA. This SNA will tell you which are the rows that um, have missing values. And it comes back as a boolean. So where it says true, it means that that row is a null value. Here's another one, NA, and there's another true, NA. And then if you wanted to actually see the, the data frame using this as a filter, and this, I mean, what we just outputted. We just wrap it in uh, brackets and stick DF all the way to the left. And if you run this, you'll see that it'll bring back all the rows that the column value, VAL, have a null in them. And of course, if you want to do the opposite, you, you do the little tilde and they'll give you the other ones. Now, they have another feature, the data frame, and it's called, um, drop duplicates and this essentially does what I just did in line 8 oh, actually sorry I used the wrong one it's drop um, drop in a my bad it's called drop in a and when you run it you'll see that it drops the null values automatically so this is equivalent to this but it's just much cleaner all right so that's how you identify um, missing values and this that's how you do it in pandas now let's move on let's say you wanted to fill these values with something with some data so they got this function called fill na and inside you can put a value and everywhere you'll find a missing value it'll fill it with zeros 
So here, let me let me copy this over. Let's keep this as DF so you can see it and let's paste that down here so you can compare the data frames. So once we run this, you'll see that this three values up here became zeros. So you'll see them all here, zero, zero, and zero. Um, and you can put any number you want in here and I'll fill them up. Now, if you do a shift tab here, you're gonna notice that there's other features that are pretty useful. And there's this parameter call method. And they have a few options here for you, what you can do with your data. Now note that this backfill and this fill are the same thing and pad and forward fill, basically the same thing. So let's just use backfill and forward fill and show you what um, this parameter does for you. By default, notice that it's none. And you can see that here. So let me show you what it does. All right, so we're gonna keep line 11 here so you can reference what it looks like. And then we'll show you what happens when you use this stuff. So method, let's do backfill and run it and then see what it did. So what it does is it grabs, when it finds a null, which was zero, which is up here, It'll grab this guy and it'll shove him here. That's why we have 456 here. Then for the next null it finds, it's gonna grab this guy and plug it into this NA. That's why you see 32. But for this last NA, there's nothing in front of it. So it has nothing to backfill it with. So you're stuck with the NAN on, on the last row. Now, if you use forward fill, which is a different method, and you run it, you'll see the opposite happens it fills forward so this is the first NA so it'll grab the value here and throw it in here that's where you see this at then the next NA it's this one over here so it grabs this one and it puts it here and that's why you see 32 but this first one here is still NAN because there's nothing before it so you can't forward fill that one so it's just two different methods that you can use to fill in data so I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys found some ideas that you could use next time you run your data and you play with pandas. If you want to know more information about pandas and if you want to take a course on it, go to the description of this video and check out that link. Thank you.